Oh yeah, look at these little uh, vintage torture devices. Small rollers for short hair. Wow, look at that in the original package. And then that, oh, just brings back memories, but not very good ones. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I'm going to do something I don't normally do, but I did it recently and it paid off really well. Well, it will pay off really well. Uh, I'm going to an estate sale on a Friday, uh, mostly because I want to scope it out. Not that I'm expecting to find a bunch of stuff to buy, but you go on like when it's full price, everything's full price. And then, then uh, usually on the next day, they do a discount day. And so this way I can scope it out and research the items and then know exactly what I can come back for and get at a discount and still make money. Because estate sales, they're not pricing for the reseller. They're pricing for the collector. Their job is to get the most money possible for the person they're holding the sale for. But then their job is also to get it all sold. That's why they do a discount day, usually on the next day of the stuff that, you know, they couldn't sell at full price. So, uh, it is possible to find some really good stuff, you know, at their full price prices because they don't look up everything. They don't research everything. They kind of go by gut and their experience. Uh, but, uh, you know, so we might come away with something or we might not. But what I can tell you is we will definitely be looking at a lot of things and researching a lot of things. And throughout the video, I will throw up comps next to items that, um, uh, are interesting to me and might be interesting to you. Okay, so without further ado, let's get shop done. All right, we're at Silver Lining Estate Sales. They do them on a pretty frequent basis. Let's go inside, see what we can find. Okay, lots of dolls, but these are not the dolls I'm looking for. Oh, but look at that lamp. Beautiful. We call these Gone with the Wind lamps. Look how big this one's really big. What do they have on that? $200. It's gorgeous. We've got a little bit of jewelry here. Those are really pretty. 15 for that set. Oh wow, jewelry baggies. I like jewelry baggies. We have some money clips, earrings. Okay, this one's full of pins. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's at least ten in here. Look at that lion. Look at that elephant. You know what? I think we're gonna get this. Look at that porcelain pin. Lots of nice pins in there. All right. First purchase. All right. We are in the living room. You know, one of the cool things about estate sales is that you get to see things a little bit more like in their natural habitat. You can kind of envision things a little bit more in your home. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't need a discount for that. That is... Bluebirds of Happiness by Leo Ward. That's definitely going into our pile. I'll go back to that table, but this caught my eye. I wish it wasn't written on Country Bear Jamboree. I mean, this is like a sentimental, sentimental thing for me. How much are the records? Record player doesn't say how much the records are. Johnny Cash. Oh, what's that? Songs of the West. Oh my. It's rawhide on there. Holy 
believe this. Okay, let's come back over here and scope it out. That looks like an Avon piece, that little ruby red guy. I love these old, I think it's a hamburger press. Let's see, yep, this one's a hamburger press. They usually have chickens as kind of their motif. Why does it say Disneyland? Somebody bought this at Disneyland? Woodpecker Woodware, hand-painted Japan, 1950. They don't have their price tag on it, but there's a six written on it. 25. I don't know. I kind of like him. I'm going to find out how much he is. This Rose Bowl is catching my eye. It's a Westmoreland for $6. Wow. Uh, yes, please. Oh, we got some oil lamps. Those are nice for $15. It's a great price. Oh, wow. Look at that hanging lamp. They want 300 on that. It's worth every penny of that. Gorgeous piece. Cute little ashtrays with little cars on them. Four dollars. Thank you. Little decanters. Oh, it's a cute little vintage mug just made in Japan. It's just one. It's a singleton. We'll leave you. Teacups and saucers. A lot of times the teacups are not marked, but the saucers will be. So sometimes if it doesn't have a saucer with it and you'll just find a teacup, it doesn't mean like it isn't somebody. It's just that they mark the saucer instead of the teacup. You can see these made in Japan. Cute little porcelain basket. It is RS Germany. Very nice quality. There are two marks to look for on this RS Germany porcelain. The old valuable mark, well, more valuable than the new mark, is in green usually. And you can see right here the difference between that and the new mark. The new mark started after 1945, but it's also put on not very good quality porcelain. So just something to take note of. Not all RS Germany marks are created equal. Oh, these are the rose goblets. Now, these aren't marked Madonna Inn, uh, but the Madonna Inn has some of these too. Uh, they do quite well. They've got them at 20 a piece. It's a little more than I would want to pay for them, but I, I might come back for these tomorrow. Look at this little guy. He's old, look at that bottom. It does have a little chip though. And we've got the painted bud vase. It is flashed, that is not red glass, but it's in really good shape and it's got kind of a Mary Gregory kind of painting on it. So for $5, I think I'll go ahead and pick that up. Let's peek over here on the Christmas table. That's a really pretty dish too. You can see some of the the paint is coming off or the stain is coming off of that one. That's too bad. Little kitschy Santa faces. Hmm, that's a little nicky knack stuff which we have an abundance of so don't need any more of that right now. This really pretty day bed. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, look at that old radio. Now I don't really deal in old radios. This is this is not an actual old one. It is a reproduction. It's the collector's edition, made to look like the old version of this. The old version of this, uh, at twenty-five dollars, you know, you'd want to snap that up in a heartbeat. But I don't know so much about the reproduction one. Look at all these trays, the toll trays. Looks like they're five dollars each. <gasps> He's really cute. Wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh, he's adorable. I kind of love him. For five bucks, let's put him in our pile. All right, the garage usually has some good gems, like I'm already seeing some vintage Tupperware. Actually, I can use these. So I'm gonna be going on a trip and I have to pre-prepare all of the fish food so that the kids just have to pull it pull it out each day, thaw it, and feed it at $2 each. I am gonna grab those. This one doesn't look like it wants to close anymore, so I'm not sure I want that one. There's more. Oh, these are the tumblers. The tumblers with the lids and everything. Okay. Oh boy, this one's missing a lid, so maybe they'll just throw that one in. There's three, there's five. That's good, that's good. That's that's not five days of fish food because I have four different tanks I have to feed. Uh, but I love these tumblers. I don't know why. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. So we're going to take the uh, vintage Tupperware up front. Granny squares that got started and not finished. That's an old pillow. I kind of like it. It's velvet. It's got a tear in it, though. It's too bad. Oh, lots of old pots and pans. dollars each. Let's see what we've got in here. Some old ones. Oh, there is a good housekeeping cookbook, but boy is it. It's well loved. Let's see. Let's come over here and see what year it is. 1940s. Completely revised edition. Got some handwritten recipes in there. 1944. You know what? For two bucks. Let's rescue that. I found this one too. Let's see. Tastes of Lace. Collected by the Ladies Association for Christian Education in... I don't see a date. Don't see a date. Oh, it's two bucks. Let's get that one too. All right, we're gonna head up the stairs. Look at the art on the wall as we go. More dolls, more dolls. And more dolls. Let's get up here. Oh, got quite a few things to see up here. Oh, look at all the little Betsy Clark office organizational kind of things and the paper. Wait, that's a Joan Walsh England. That's super cute. Ten bucks. Oh, that's really cute. Friendship is for keep. Very 1980s. Yes, very 1980s. Oh, that's a pretty old clock. Let's see, what is that one? New England clock, Bristol, Connecticut. I see some more writing in there. It just says, New England clock company, Farmington. It's got the directions, it's got the key. It's a pretty, pretty little, I think they call that a cathedral clock, right? Oh, that's a hand-tinted picture there. It's kind of pretty. Some instant ancestors. That is a print. Oh, rulers. Yardsticks, I should say. should probably get one of those. Kodak camera in there. Another one of these beautiful hanging lamps for $200. Oh, stunning, stunning. And then 
What do we have over here? This is all Westmoreland, all Westmoreland glass. $10 a piece on the candlesticks, $10 on the basket, the wedding, I think they call it a wedding dish. When, why can I never remember things while I'm filming? Or is it anniversary? Is it an anniversary dish? Anyway, candy dish. Those are really good prices, actually. $10 a piece is not bad. I'm not going to pick it up today, but I may come back tomorrow for that. I had to step away from the radio where this was sitting, but this is a little old paperweight. Uh, like an ad it was an advertisement paperweight. Uh, it's got some age on it, so we'll pick that up for $3. What you are makes you rich, not what you have. That is so true. Oh, look at all these hankies. Little embroidered hankies. Oh my goodness. See, this is not something that I really deal in. Easy to ship. Maybe I should deal in them. Uh, but I will leave those for somebody else. We will look at the alabaster doves. These don't bring as much as they used to. Did they really just write straight on these? <gasps> Why would they do that? Mmm. I hate that. I hate that they did that. I mean, it's a good price for them, but gosh, I'm not even sure I could get that $4 off of there. We'll leave it. Maybe if they're still here tomorrow, I would pick them up. This was, this was Ken's in 1950. This person wrote on a lot of things. They wrote a lot of dates and a lot of things. And they really loved their hanging lamps a lot. Yeah. Take a peek at Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, yeah, they're so cute, huh? That's an old one. They are cute. That's what I'm looking at. I'm seeing if they have a tag. That'll tell us. Don't see a tag. At least not on Ann. She should have a little heart on her chest. And I don't see one. I don't think she. I don't know. She's handmade. Okay. She might be handmade. $10 is a good price, but oops. It would be 20 if I bought the pair. Yeah, I think these are handmade. They feel hand stuffed, actually. They're nice, but I am not going to pick those up. There are some Raggedy Ann and Andes that sell for really good money. I'll throw a couple comps up on the screen here for you. Got some old pitcher and basins. This reminds me of, um, what was it? Blue Ridge? No, it's made in Italy, actually. It has that Blue Ridge kind of a look to it. Maybe Blue Ridge was copying Italian ceramics, but it's kind of nice. And there's a larger one. These were super popular. What was it, like in the 90s? Like everybody wanted one of these. Now I think they're a hard sell. This room is nice and bright. Got some crocheted things in here. Oh, this is one of those uh, waffle blankets with the satin stitch edge. These actually sell really well. The challenge I always have is photographing it. You must have to like lay it out on a bed. I'm looking to see if this one has a tag. Lay it out on a bed and and then take some folded pictures. I don't know, anybody sell blankets and has a good way to take the picture of blankets? Now, I have not been listing on eBay, so I'm not, oh, what is my camera doing? <laughs> I don't know how long that was blurry. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, so I haven't been listing on eBay. Therefore, uh, I wouldn't pick something like this up right now because that is really the market for these types of things. I have a very specific clientele that I buy and sell things to right now. When I get back to eBay, yeah, this would be a really good pickup. I think even this one is vintage. Like these, they're night, they're that heavy. They're acrylic blankets, but they're, but they're heavy, you know, 
now you get the acrylic blankets and they're like all thin and not really great blankety. And they're only 10 bucks. That's a great price. I like these. I like them. They're so vintage, but uh, we're not going to pick those up. Yes, of course, I'm going to take a peek at the chenille. But again, it's not something that I deal in. I know a lot of people do. These are in pretty good shape too. So hopefully somebody comes and snags these. That one under there says 10. I don't see the price, but there's actually chenille pillows, pillow shams that go with it too. You don't see those very often. There's an old paint by number. I wonder if the person whose estate this is was the painter of that. I bet they were. Got some perfume bottles. This one's quite fancy. It looks like maybe a check glass. Ten dollars, not a bad price. This one looks like a big thimble. Is it Avon? Of course it is. Did anybody else make figural perfume bottles? Or was that just an Avon thing? Was that like their little claim to fame? And then we got some Norman Rockwells. Oh, they're shooting marbles. That's cute. And then, uh, what is that one? What is he doing? Oh, he's the doctor. He's the doctor. All right, let's see what we have in here. Scarves slips look at all of these vintage gloves wow look at some of them have never never been used how much are they two dollars a pair this is just one of those cool sentimental things this would be like something i would sell on whatnot we'll get a few pairs well i mean they're just look at this they're they're beaded they're beaded and beautiful Ugh. Uh, you know I'm going to get all the white ones. You know I'm just going to get them all. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six pairs. I got six, six pairs of those dainty little gloves. All right. Got some wallets here. Just going to peek through, see if there's anything. Super fab. What does that say? Princess Gardener Genuine Lambskin. Seems like a very nice functional wallet. Very slight discoloration on some of the edges. These are $4 each. Oh, that one's fun. Oh, it's vinyl. <gasps> Look at that. It zips on the bottom. <laughs> or, or if you just need to really dig in there, you can just... I feel like I would be the one who opened both ends at the same time. And then... That would be a disaster. Okay. All right. No. no you get back there. Oops. Get in there. Okay. We're just going to get our gloves. Oh, I like those lamps. Those are 75 each. Again, a good price. Definitely a good price. These shades are very, very expensive. Beautiful, beautiful lamps. We got a cubist pattern candy dish. A, uh, I think this is a lipstick holder. I do believe so. Porcelain lipstick holder. There went 20. And then here is one of the little metal ones with little cherubs on it. These are fun. I actually use these for holding something else. I'll show you a picture. See a little pill box. I like this little dresser tray yeah. under here. Yeah. Look at this little dresser tray. I have to take the little things off Shoot. of it. Oh, Look at that. Okay, I like this for ten dollars. Got some brass in the corner here. A little etched. Okay, now I'm thinking Italian. Nope, <laughs> made in Taiwan. See? Then when I oh look, it even comes with a nickel. You know what? I'm gonna put you over here on the dresser by these little guys now. What is this little, little fine little crocheted shawl? It's ten dollars. This is sweet. Liz Claiborne, vintage Liz Claiborne. That is beautiful. 
I love this. I would never, I, I, it's not my niche and it's 10. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow if it's still here, I'll come back for it. Look at the uh, mantle lamps. This is kind of cool that there's a fireplace up in the bedroom. Like a really nice little fireplace. Ooh, that's heavy. It's got a mark. It's got a W on it. $20 for the pair. Yeah, they literally wrote on uh, some things, I guess, that they couldn't put the stickers. And that's just, oof. Makes me cringe a little bit. That's a pretty piece for $8. Marvetta 96. It's a really pretty piece, but I think I'm gonna, I am, I'm gonna leave it. Pretty plate. Did you see the mattress? Like that's what you call a vintage, vintage mattress. They don't do this with mattresses anymore. Like you almost don't want to put a sheet on it. It's so beautiful. Little fur collared leather coat. I tell you, there's so much here that uh, throws back to the 90s. Oh, and then we have a closet. Light is not very good in here, so hopefully my camera compensates, but let's take a peek and see what we've got. More Italy, 1970. At least they wrote on it. Oh, squeaky floor. Precious moments. More little Italian ceramics, bunnies, and oh my gosh, I swear I just stepped into my grandmother's closet. Look at these shoes. They're kind of fabulous, actually. All right, take a peek in the bathroom here. Dusting powder. Oh, this is a cup. Who makes you? Palais de Versailles made in Japan exclusively for Elizabeth Arden. Do you have a price? You don't have a price. You know what? I'm going to put him in my pile and find out how much he is. Oh yeah, look at these little uh, vintage torture devices. Small rollers for short hair. Wow, look at that in the original package. And then that, oh, just brings back memories, but not very good ones. I really like this towel bar holder, brass towel bar holder for 20 bucks. You know what? I gotta set my little pile down again. Oh, it's got a big dent at the bottom, but I'm also looking at these little Stanley steamer, little dish towels. I don't see a price on that one. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to take those down and put them in my pile and see what they'll do for me. I've got a little sewing box full of goodies in here. That's really cool. I don't see a price on that either. Not really what I deal in. There we go. You've got the uh, hair dryer to go with the curlers. Aphrodisia bath powder. Oh my, my, my. Oh, these look like little wheat bottles here. They are little, little miniature wheat bottles. There's a little bathtub soap dishes spoon. Very squeaky floor. Very squeaky floor. Oh, white shoulders. Boy, that is vintage. That one says Grayson Arts. Here's a little table of goodness. Lepton trinket box. Nothing really, really standing out to me. Nothing that, you know, I can't normally find out there in the wild. There's some more Westmoreland. 
These look Italian. Yep, Capodimonte, made in Italy. Almost never can you find these where they don't have a little bit of chipping and they're very, very delicate to ship as well. You have to make sure you don't put bubble wrap directly onto these petals because if somebody is unbubbling it, it could stick. So I always use a tissue paper or a paper in between bubble wrap and these petals. And I generally just don't even pick these up to ship anymore just because they have trouble making it. Oh, look at this little embroidered, like a dresser, dresser scarf with the lady on it. Oh, it's got a tear and a little stain, so we will leave it, but she was cool. I don't normally see, like, people on this stuff. This is a really gorgeous antique caster set. It's got all the etched bottles. They're all intact. They all match. It's got the whole, it looks like somebody polished it. It probably would have had a little more patina at some point, but uh, 150 is not a bad price. And then one more of those beautiful lamps. And then look at this oil lamp up on the wall. $20. Mmm, tempting. Super tempting. But I'm gonna pass. Yeah, we got more vintage Tupperware. Oh, that has the little... It's a lettuce keeper and it's got the thing to hold the lettuce in there too. It's only two bucks. I think so. Okay, let's grab it. Look at these bowls with roosters. Don't know who makes those. They're pretty fabulous. I think we might have to get those too. Get them closed. This chick's had it. It's a cool glass measuring cup. It's an old mid-century cheese board. It would have had a cover, a square cover. That would be hard to replace and find. Genuine oven serveware, TST. These bowls are fun. Made in USA. No. Oh. No, it's not why I saw the U. It's Bauer. They are Bauer. Four piece set for $25. I think I'm going to look that one up. Yep. That's a good pickup. We're going to get those. Let's see what else we've got over here. Jardin Vanessa. Oh, you know what? There was another one of these mugs over in the cupboard. Also not priced. Oh, Taylor Smith Taylor. Boutonniere pattern. One of my favorites. Absolutely one of my favorites. You know what? Do I want to use one of these for one of my project pieces? I feel like I do. For $2, I'm picking that up. Okay, if it's not marked, then it's $2. So that is a sweet little daisy and button toothpick holder for $2 as well. Oh, I see a sweet little pink, little small teapot here. You are Luray, Luray Pastels. This is 1940. It's got some chips. That is too bad. We're gonna leave it. But I do love that pattern. And then up here, just one single little ruby red guy. And then some mugs. I think we will leave the mugs. And then we'll take a quick peek through all the clear glass. Looks like most of it is pressed and pretty common. Nothing's really standing out to me this time. I really feel like I walked back into the 90s. There's so much 90s stuff in here. That's another Tupperware, like a sandwich keeper. Oh, those canisters are beautiful. Who made you? This is 1968. 
That looks like a leptin number on there, though. Did leptin make canisters? I don't know. Some bugs are sweet. They are Franciscan. Those are cherry. I guess they're all cherry. Okay, that's just the back side of the cherry pattern. Some neat old peas. Actually, five bucks for that is not bad. It's kind of a beautiful piece of amber glass. And it's not too big, so it's not like a big hassle factor. I think we'll grab that one too. Cute spoon rests. Odagiri. It's chipped. That one is not good. Let's see what these ones are. Gourmet spoon rest. Oh, you've got a mark on there. Made in Japan. These are kind of sweet. Let's see what this little guy is. Oh, that one. That one is Takashi. It's ten dollars on that one, though. I think we have to pass. And then we've got the Franciscan Desert Rose. I still haven't started that collection because I'm not sure where to go with it. But that butter dish, you know, I have a thing for butter dishes. Maybe, maybe I'll get the butter dish. Maybe I'll just do that. This is called the TV Mark. I believe it's the 70s. Mm, it's in good shape. It's in good shape. I think I'm going to get the butter dish. All right. Here's my little stash. I'm going to get checked out. Well, that was really like stepping back into the 90s. Like, it was just all 90s. Uh, I got a few really cool things. Super excited about some of them, and uh, a crazy thing happened. Uh, last time I came to one of their sales, I had bought these glass flowers, and it didn't even occur to me that I did not have them in my possession, but they held them for me, and they were given to me I because I haven't even processed that stuff in because it takes a little bit more research time. <sighs> my life. But cool thing is I have the flowers now that I paid for. That was very, very nice of them to do that. And that again is one of the things I tell you all the time, build these relationships with estate sale companies, with vendors at the flea markets and the swap meets and uh, become one of their regulars. And it just makes life so much better. All right, let's go process this stuff in. Now go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.